The changes to Control Center in iOS 18 are really noticeable, and you can now personalize your Control Center to work exactly as you need for your device. If I swipe down the top right corner to enter Control Center, just like normal, I can then long press on any empty space, just like you might do on the home screen when you change your app icons. Then you can simply tap the Add More button at the bottom of Control Center, and this will bring up a new sheet full of different Control Center toggles and buttons that you can add to your Control Center. There are loads and loads of options here, ranging from the default recommended one at the top. As you scroll down, you'll find shortcut actions, you'll find HomeKit accessories, and you'll find dozens of accessibility shortcuts as well. And you can tap onto any of these to add them to your Control Center, just like this. As quickly as that, I've now added a timer button onto my Control Center, and if we press Add More again, I can then go to find another one. I'm going to use the Translate shortcut here as a demo. And just like the home screen, you can tap and drag to relocate and rearrange any of these buttons, so you can make it really convenient and useful for you. Of course, if you want to remove some, perhaps there are ones that you never use, and they're just cluttering up the screen, you can press Delete in the top corner as well. Not only that, but if you use that little corner toggle option there, you can tap and drag to make your widgets bigger or smaller. That means you can get more information about some widgets, and it makes them easier to spot amongst everything else. That means you can control what you have in your control center and really customize it to make it useful for you on your device. And there are actually quite a few other things that Control Center can do now you've got iOS 18. If you want to learn more, please do check out my channel down below. Or if you really want to learn more, I've made an ebook this year with 100 quick tips to help you make the most of iOS 18. You can find that underneath this video. I'll see you next time.